The reason why it's special is that it's the Queen's camera. And so I thought if it's good enough for the Queen, it's good enough for me. I'm trying to get the focus right. I think I tell you. <laughs> what do you mean, hold on? Do you know what this looks like? Things we do for photography, eh? Look, Philip, I'm a stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. I'm a stamp. So when doing film photography, do it. What? Puddle. Oh, go on then. Puddle it's photography be the of the puddle year. Photo. Let's go. Do you reckon the Queen took puddle photos? It's very bright today, isn't it? He listens too. That's kind of cool. And we've got two gentlemen over here. So it's a fabulous day today, and why not take out some gold cameras? In which we've got quite a special one. We've got this one. This is Nick, one of the owners of Camera Centre UK and a beautiful human being. Uh, so this is a Roly 35, the gold limited edition with lizard skin leather on it. So uh, we're going to test it. I've never actually put any films through them because they're just part of the collection. So we thought, well, let's give it a go and see, uh, and see what we can do. We'll get Stuart to take some pictures with them so you can have a look what they look like. So this one, you take the bottom off like this, pull the back off, get your film. Put a little cup over the top, push them in like so, push them in there. Yeah, a little fiddly to be fair, but uh, once you've done a few, yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's definitely loaded. Always double check, you don't want to waste the developing, it's not the cheapest thing. But then, so to shut it down, you push it in, click it down, lock it off. That's one camera ready though. Not picked you for any particular reason. I wonder video. why I'm using this in that respect then. The Roly 35, a gold one. Yeah. And then I've got the Leica R3 Gold, and this is a limited edition one. This is another uh, rare Leica Gold camera. It was to commemorate 100 years of Leica. They made a whole range of cameras. They made the R3, R4. I just think they were cool, so and I like gold, gold things, so I thought, why not? I'll stick one of these in the collection. But I've never actually used one of these to see how good they are either, so... We're going to, the same thing, we're going, to, we're going to put a film to it and let's do a test it and see how it goes. Amazing. These ones are a bit more modern, so they're a bit easier to load. You always fire it off once, stick the film in, put it back down there. Be safe when you're loading your film. There's always extra film on them, so you should always make sure you see the film wind around to that point where you know it's going to wind on the 100%, so it will stop any mistakes. Then you close it down, wind it on once, wind it on two more times, and that's ready to go. Simple as that. Perfect. Yeah, so we'll see the results and see uh, see how she would get on. This is a usual sight for you, Stuart, just carrying big tripods around. Quite an things. interesting fact, actually. So Queen Elizabeth II, who unfortunately is no longer with us, um, actually used a gold Roly camera, which is a really cool thing. I didn't know that until about 10, 15 minutes ago, so that's great. Um, but yeah, these, these things are kind of smart, kind of really cool. And I think if she liked it and appreciated it, maybe there's something to be said for that. Maybe it's just the royal influence and the fact that it's gold. Maybe there's that. But also, my great uncle actually photographed Queen Elizabeth II using, I think, was actually a Roly Flex. It wasn't the gold one. Um, and I'm not entirely sure which one it was, but there's a little bit of a connection there. So that's kind of cool. This might, this might hurt. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. What's the idea here? <sighs> I'm trying to get the focus right. I think I tell you. <laughs> hold on there, so I can go on the top. You mean hold on? Do you know what this looks like? Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if this is exposed properly or not. Probably not. But there we go. Things we do for photography, eh? Now, I've got an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea, but it's an idea. So there's this famous photo with the Queen with the roller flex, and we're going to try and uh, recreate it with my favourite Queen with a film camera. Going to use the uh, with, with the Leica, with and then him with his hood, and try and get a similar shot. Let me know if it works out. So bring it up to your eye, kind of. Look, Philip, I'm a stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. I'm a stamp. <laughs> Philip. Philip! <laughs> oh, I really yeah, hope that funny. exposed properly. Recently, there's been a lot of controversy within photography and the royal environment. And to a certain extent, like I get people being a little bit harsh on an edit, but the editing was actually done by Kate Middleton, or at least I believe it was. And in that retrospect, you're not really surprised. She's not a trained editor. 
But when it comes to family photos, do you have to make it absolutely perfect? We look at the royal family with a lot of scrutinization when it comes to the photographs they put out. They're just people and they just enjoy it. Just like most of these photos are probably not that great today. Photography is about enjoying and seeing the environment in a different way. And that should just be encouraged across the board. What do you reckon, Tyler? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Yeah, I could, yeah. Uh, yeah. So when doing film photography- Stuart! <sighs> what? Puddle. Oh, go on then, puddle it's photography. It's gonna be the puddle the photo. Let's go. Do you reckon the Queen took puddle photos? Don't think so. Right, I'm not gonna be able to look through the viewfinder on this one. All right, you need to make sure it's on the right exposure though. Yeah, I know. Y yes. I'm gonna need to go three, five, and we'll try one sixtieth of a second, okay? Ready? Ready. It might be you in it. Oh. That's fine. I'm gonna try. Film this, babe. For, uh, yeah. Walk with you or? Yeah, walk with me. You're probably me. gonna scare you. Scare it. Yeah, that's okay. fine. That's, that's the comedy. Okay. Whilst he's there, he's, he's got his eye on something. Ready? Okay. Are you filming? Yeah. So there's a heron just literally over it. You probably can't see it in the lens, but it looks like he's got his eyes on something. So I'm going to try and get the heron with one of these. It's probably right. this, though. It's that. probably not going to work. But you never know. I got a photo of it though. Hopefully. But it's quite wide, so. Yeah, it's, it's going to be quite wide. We'll see. <laughs> I did shoot it at 1 60th of a second though. I didn't think to change my shutter or anything. <laughs> hey, duckies. Most important photo you've ever taken. Yeah, I, probably not in focus at six meters, but let's try, try again. Hey, ducky. He listens too. That's kind of cool. And we've got two gentlemen over here. Hey, quackers. Oh, you got love and mallard. Hey, my lads. Love and mallard. Probably not in focus at all. But we'll see. These guys couldn't care less about us being here, could they? No. In no way, shape or form. So we've just finished up using the rolls in our cameras. I shot a little bit another day, so you're going to see some portraits with the uh, Leica R3. Mm. Um, and of course, this is Tyler's first film experience in a very long time. Yeah, most of our photos are ducks. I mean, and some nice little seas. You gotta love a mallard. But yeah, yeah. What's the female one called? Just duck in it. Just duck in yeah. it. Just, just tuck in it. Yeah. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. Uh, these are very flashy accessories, and it's one of those things where you kind of want to keep in your camera bag, not take it out with you, yeah. because it's so pretty. Uh, but hopefully the uh, Leica optics are pretty good and the Rolly optics are good in that one as we well. We shall see when the film's developed. Mm. I think we're, we're over, over egging it a little bit at the moment. We might be over egging it. I might yeah. not even get this video out because we haven't actually got any photos. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Either way, even if it goes really wrong, it's all a learning experience. And even if it goes really right, fun. If you like this video, make sure you like, follow and subscribe if you want to see more. Of course, we're doing some more fun type videos on the channel at the moment. So if you enjoy it, please let us know in that comment section. And like you said, don't forget, like, follow, subscribe. It makes a difference. It, it really does. helps.